Okay, we're back to the Chem 10B sample final. This is lucky number 13, the first one on the second half or the second page or the other side. This is the first of two beaker problems. These are ones just like you did before, just like on quiz 8. Hopefully you'll be good at it this time. The H plus concentration is 0 0.015 molar in a final solution made by mixing. 25 milliliters of 0 0.75 molar HClO4 and 75 milliliters of NaOH of an unknown concentration. And that's what we're going to try to find out. What was the sodium ion concentration in the unknown solution? The net ionic equation is H plus plus OH minus goes to H2O. And the H plus concentration is at the end 0 0.015 molar. Okay, that's what all those words to the problem say. We add 25 and 75 and we get 100 milliliters of solution at the end. Because it's a reaction, that means an ice table for these beaker problems, right? So ice table means initial change end. We're going to keep track of the moles of the H plus and the moles of the hydroxide. Okay? Now there's something else we know. We know that the change is that there's subtraction on the reactant side. We're not going to worry about the product for this problem, so that's nice. There's one more hunk of information. H plus at the end. Therefore, OH minus is limiting, right? If you have H plus left over at the end, that means there is no hydroxide left at the end, that this is the excess. It's excess. If that's excess, that means the OH is limiting. And that means there's zero moles of the hydroxide ion left at the end. Okay. Now remember, every time you have a concentration in moles per liter and a volume in liters, you're going to calculate the moles. And we can do that twice here. Here, initial, and here at the end. So let's do this calculation. Zero point, oh, but first, this splits up into H plus and ClO4 minus. So the H plus is 0 0.75 molar, one to one ratio. 0.75 moles per 1 liter times 0 0.025 liters gives you well, it gives you what? 0 0.0188 moles H plus initial, right? That's the concentration at the beginning and the volume at the beginning, so that's the moles at the beginning. 0 0.0188. I'm going to take this out to one more place, but you have to remember that it has two sig figs. Let's not do the rounding this time early. And then here we've got a concentration and a volume. So 0 0.015 moles of H plus per 1 liter times 0 0.100 liters is 0 0.015, oops, 0.0015. 
Yeah, I want to multiply it out. 0 0.015 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.015, of course. This is the moles, and again, this is two sig figs of H plus at the end, right? Because this was the concentration at the end and the volume at the end. So 0 0.0015. Moles at the end. Well, we have everything lined up. Let's see, where do I want to do? We'll do this right here. 0 0.0188. 0 0.0188. 0 .0015. That's 3. That's 7. That's 100. Zero, zero. But this is 2 sig figs and this is 2, which means we're drawing the line here. This is the moles of H plus. That's your change. That's your reacted, right? So 0 0.017 moles is the change. That's how much reacted if you started with 0 0.0188 to two sig figs. And you ended up with 0 0.0015 two sig figs. $18.80, you're left with $1.50. That's how much you spent. Since it's a one-to-one -one ratio, that's how much OH minus reacted. And since you ended up with zero, 0, 0.017 moles of OH minus is what you started with if you divide by the volume in liters moles hydroxide per liter that's the answer that's what we want for the hydroxide ion concentration which is the same as the sodium hydroxide ion concentration and I get 0 0.017 divided by 0 0.075 0 0.23 molar all right be ready for that logic where you work backwards this answer this answer and this answer will all be the same all right have at it good luck Oh, by the way, if you want to practice more, that's Quiz 8, Chapter 9, Examples 9E, 9F, and especially 9H. Okay, good luck.